Hi, I'm Cindy Santa Anna, Integrative Nutritionist for the Amen Clinics and your Wellness Wednesday host. Today's topic is about mast cells and histamine reactions. So mast cells are like the watchmen of the immune system. They are constantly scanning the body for potential threats. These cells have granules containing over 200 active compounds, and one that you might have I've heard of or been familiar with, and that's histamine. So when a mast cell identifies a threat, whether it's from an infection, an allergen, an insect sting, or a tissue trauma, it dumps these defensive compounds into the area and alerts all the other immune cells to the site to fix it and make it better. So, but this can cause symptoms that you might experience, such as watery eyes or runny nose, uh, flushing or swelling, um, that can often look like an allergic reaction. But it could also be mast cell activation syndrome, or MCAS. That's when those mast cells become overstimulated. You could also experience symptoms such as rashes and migraines. You might have brain fog, um, fatigue, and joint and muscle pain as well. It's a little difficult to diagnose because the symptoms often overlap with other conditions. So sometimes just tracking your food and keeping, keeping a really good food, food journal can be very helpful. But first we have to um, identify the trigger. So triggers can be genetics, emotional stress, mold mycotoxins, we see that a lot at the clinic, um, infection, poor diet, toxins and chemicals, um, histamine containing foods, allergens, and even high estrogen around ovulation can trigger a histamine reaction and even heat. So to manage high histamine, it's really helpful to first obviously identify that root cause, which I just mentioned some of the um, triggers and then uh, lowering your histamine containing foods. So that's going to be removing fermented foods while very healthy, healthy for some fermented foods like sauerkraut or kimchi or kefir can exacerbate symptoms. And then also aged cheeses, vinegar, um, alcohol, tomatoes, chocolate, <laughs> uh, even some canned meat and fish um, and long simmered bone broths are high histamine foods. So, um, so you would limit those and then certain supplements can actually help the body process histamine a little bit better. So that's going to be vitamin C and vitamin D, um, quercetin, DAO, and a low histamine probiotic. So if you're dealing with some of those symptoms I mentioned, working with a practitioner can be very helpful and I can help you with the diet part. Take care. Oh, 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 oh,